Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, an app that turns your iPad into an extra display for your computer. Let's get started. Our app today is iDisplay, an app that allows you to turn your iPad into an extra display for your computer. Now, this is actually a very flexible arrangement. You can set this up to either mirror what's being displayed on your computer, or you can set it up as a second display. And in fact, you can connect multiple iPads to your computer, which would allow you to use this in a classroom setting. Each of your students could have an iPad that was mirroring what was displayed on the master computer. Everyone could see the same thing at the same time. Great for an educational type of application. But I'm finding it really useful for working in the studio because you can do things like put plug-in windows, transport controls, those types of things into your iPad and not have them cluttering up the main display on your computer. So let's take a look at how this works. iDisplay is an app that runs on your iPad and it connects to your computer by Wi-Fi. You install a small app onto your computer. I've got it running here. And you can address different parameter settings here. But really all you need to do is launch iDisplay. It'll look for a computer that's running the iDisplay app, and it'll automatically connect to that, or you can tell it which one to connect to. Now, once you do, you'll see it as an extended display. I've got the cursor here on a Macintosh display, but we can scroll right over, and you can see that it appears right here on the iPad as well. There's no latency there as I move my trackball. You can select items, you can move them, and in fact, you could use your finger just as you normally do with your iPad. You can select menu items, you can open and close items, you can open up items, so here I've opened this text file that's sitting on the desktop inside my iPad, but it's opened up on the desktop of my computer. Now once that's open, we can also double tap, and that will give us some different options here. One is that we can open up a virtual keyboard. And we can see that as I type here, the text appears in the computer document. We can also take those back out. So it's really working as two-way communication. We can hide that, we can zoom in and out, we can scroll once we have things zoomed, and we can tap to bring us back out. If we tap with three fingers, we'll open up scroll bars. So if you're working inside an application where you need to see more, you can do that. You can also triple tap again to hide those. You can open up a quick manual here. So it's very fast and easy to get around. If you don't need to see those extended features, just double tap and you're back to the normal desktop. But as I mentioned, where I'm really finding this useful is in the studio. So if I open up Pro Tools here on my computer, I've got a couple of extra windows here. I've got a, a plug-in window. Let's drag that over onto the iPad. And I've also got my transport controls. We could drag that here as well. Now we can use the mouse to manipulate those so I can start playback from here. I can manipulate the plug-in controls or I can also use my finger on the touch screen to stop playback, start playback, go into record, so everything that you can do on those windows running on a computer, you can also do on your iPad using either the mouse or using your hand on the touch screen. So this allows you to clean up what you're looking at on your main screen. So we don't have to have the transport there. We don't have to have plug-in windows there if we don't want to. If we're doing editing, it's very easy to see everything without anything blocking our tracks as we're doing our editing tasks. This is a really useful app for expanding the usability of your computer. You can never have enough desktop space with your computer. It seems like you always need more space for putting a plug-in window, transport control, for working on an additional app that you might be using. Having something like this that turns your iPad into an extended desktop for your computer, really a useful app to have. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tech tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher. <laughs>